foggy moonlit sky. Go check out what's going on downtown. In the zombie apocalypse. Paradise is this park. Sure, if that's the glow from the fading sunset or a little peachy glow is the fire over the mountain range there. There are a lot of generators going on right now. I'm not sure why that is. So we still have power. So. Think we do? Yeah, we have power. Otherwise, you wouldn't be catching my videos. <sighs> kind of a spooky, quiet night. Yeah, that's this park. I see more of that glow that way. But I, have a <sighs> I mean the. Optimist in me says that that's just a pretty pink sunset, right? This little pink glow from the sun, far away, not a concern. But uh, the paranoid you know, conspiracy wacko in me says that that's the fire. I don't know, we'll see. Once it gets a little darker, it'll, it'll be pretty obvious what the source of that light is. These neighborhoods are empty. All the lights are off. All these house lights are off except for the outdoor lights. Nobody home. Nobody's home in Estes Park. Okay then. Zombies are attracted to the light. I'm staying far away from those. Random street lights. Sorry if I'm heavy breathing, but I'm totally out of shape and it's pretty high elevation up here. It's like 7,400 feet. You 
even though I've lived up here for over 15 years now, I still get windy when I hike. Because there's no freaking oxygen up here. So yeah, empty streets. I could just walk out here in the middle. That's nice, right? Just walking down the middle of the street now. You know why? Because there's no cars on the street. That's not even a concern. <sighs> this is a little eerie, folks. I told myself I wouldn't go under the spotlight. Son of a... Dark houses. Nothing on but the outside lights. No one's at home. This town is a little creepy right now. I'm starting to rethink this whole let's stay up in this park idea. That sounds like a great idea. I can get some on location documentary citizen journalist boots on the ground coverage of this historic event. What's that noise? Owls. They're nothing but owls. How often do you hear owls hooing at night in the... right near the downtown of Estes Park? Seriously. That in itself is a new story, right? That's what I'm here for, folks. Share the unique adventures of Night Watch Night. Never a dull moment. Even when I'm looking at a pitch black screen with a little dot of light in the center of it. You can't make this stuff up. I mean, this is classic um, fear theater, post apocalyptic. Reality TV, that's not even. That's actually reality. It's not even made up reality like you see on the idiot box. Oh, you hear that? That is awesome. That was worth the trip right there. to listen to the owls under the moonlight. Oh, he's close. He's really close. Where is he? That's his tail right there. That is awesome. Wow, that was awesome. I captured that where he took off. You can see his wings flapping in the, in the zombie light over there. That was awesome. I mean, that's just that's just one reason why I can't hear him. That is so cool. I could stay there for like an hour. Just 
probably lose viewers, but I don't care. I'm, that is an experience. I've never seen a owl at night in a tree, especially out in the wild. And you might drive by now and then and just see like a little streak, you know, from a large barn owl <sighs> down in the countryside. You little still hooing. <sighs> yeah, you see a little streak in your headlights, but where am I going? I thought I was going that way. What am I doing right now? <laughs> what am I doing? Like I'm a little disorientated. <sighs> that was cool though. I'm gonna turn this off of Okay, now it's on manual focus, so you're not going in and out, in and out. That's really annoying. That was cool though. I mean, I've seen like a little streak of light as a owl flies across the street or something like that when I'm driving down the highway, but I've never just like walked up that close. Big owl too, like he had a wingspan probably, I don't know if I'd say as large as my wingspan, but close. You know what, I wanna go back up there because just wandering around aimlessly. It's not a good idea. I thought I thought I had a plan. I thought I had a map drawn out in crayons. I mean, it's pretty solid if you draw it out in crayons, right? <laughs> Some newspaper print. <laughs> anyway, that's cool. He's still up here, but he was right above me. I was standing under the tree. You can see in the film his tail was facing his tail end and just that deep. That's so cool the sound. That's so cool to hear. That's the sound. Getting ahead of myself. It's one of those classic sounds of the wild, right? Between the elk bugling during the rut and the creepy coyotes out there yakking it up like they do occasionally owls this has got to be like top top three top five on the list so just so you know right now my fingers are about to fall off because my hands are freezing and I'm so pathetically prepared right now that I don't have any gloves to take with me on this epic journey to my waypoint overlooking Estes Park. And if by chance a vehicle does actually venture down this dark, empty road, I got bushes on my right, so I'm just gonna dive in a bush and pretend like I just robbed a bank, I guess, because I don't really feel like getting stopped and questioned. I don't know how much they're enforcing anything right now. There's still areas that are, uh, there I am. So you're not just looking at a blank screen. It's it probably old, I know, I'm sorry. My camera is pathetic at dark light. I need to get like one of those fancy Sonys. I need to like support independent journalism and just good old fashioned, you know, creativity. Support the arts, folks. Hint, hint, wink, wink. I got my little donate. <laughs> I hate asking for stuff, but I'm just saying. If you're so inclined and you have the ability, like I don't, to just throw money at random people you've never met that produce really awesome content like I do, hey, feel free. PayPal or Patreon. Anyway, that'll be the last time you hear me plug myself, I swear. Next time, remember smoking Dave's? Okay, I hear a car. <laughs> I hear a vehicle running. Running into this random yard. Okay. I heard a vehicle. I don't know if zombies have learned how to drive yet. That's why I'm so scared right now. You can almost hear my heart beating. 
Let's hide out next to this big tree right here. How about that? There we go. Big tree. Nature's ghillie seat. Okay, I don't hear the car anymore. Now the other thing I'm concerned about is like, neighbors freaking out like they probably rightly should that there's <laughs> looters and vandals walking around through the yard, kind of like I'm doing right now. Not by choice, I just being stupid. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get like freaking authorities called on me just for walking around out here. Because, you know, rightly so, people are concerned about their properties. I mean, I would be like in these businesses and who knows what kind of a money that they have invested in their business and equipment and here we go. This looks like a trail ahead. I'll just stay on the trail. Sounds good. I have no idea where I'm even at right now. I think the shit, the waypoint. Here another car. Is anybody else as spooked out as I am right now? Once while you hear a car zoom by. <laughs> Assuming they got bigger fish to fry than, you know, cheese ball citizen journalist guy here with a camera, but yeah, I'm sure they're running around chasing fires probably. I don't know where this road is taking me. This could be somebody's driveway, so I'm not going up somebody's driveway. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be one of those guys. Here on the news. Yeah. Man in Estes Park is shot. I'm trying to do a video for his YouTube channel. As the homeowner suspects he's being burglarized. I don't want to be that guy, folks. I'm not going to be that guy. That's my. Be getting next to some area of traffic. <sighs> it's freaking me out. Okay, I'm good. Just a little jumpy tonight, I guess. Whew. That was definitely uh, driving up here going on, so things after you haven't you haven't heard a car for a while <laughs> it's like every sound of a car freaks you out <sighs> just one second okay it's getting a little breezy and the wind is really cold so pardon me if you know the mic is picking up all kinds of like it does wind it's really annoying Sorry, man. I should have brought my bigger boom mic, but I was like, I don't want to break it because I'll probably be jumping in, in and out of bushes. And I just wanted one of the things I was curious about was whether or not they have checkpoints up here. It looks like I don't know. I can't speculate right now. I can't really see too well. I'll be right back. None of these neighbors are. <sighs> Mistake me as a zombie. That would be the that'd be the worst scenario, I think. <laughs> One of these compounds. One of these uh <laughs> separate colony hideouts like 
one of these people would mistake me as a zombie and just open fire. That's, that would not be a good scenario for anybody involved. I do carry protection, you know. We're getting close. What the fuck is that? okay. It's freaking spooking me out. That's something out of a post-apocalyptic movie right there. A little blinking street light. No one home. American flag. It's like, is it Halloween already? I don't know, well, that's a little spooky. And there's probably still people in these houses, some of these houses. If anybody's living there, they should really fix that light. It's like, freak me out. freak you out. It's freaking me out. Okay. You know me, I'm like a, like a moth drawn to the flame. If I see something shiny, I just go for it. Okay, here's a car. And, uh, he's hauling some ass. Avoided that. Avoided that potentially uh, interesting scenario. Whew, yes, I'm just walking through towards downtown now. And the streets are empty and the houses are dark. I mean, I'm hoping I'm not going to walk up on some actual bona fide criminals that are robbing, looting, stealing. That is my hope, at least. But, you know, it wouldn't surprise me at this point. Like nothing at this point will be a surprise. Where for all you homeowners who have evacuated Estes Park, particularly downtown Estes Park, right above, uh, what is it, Elkhorn Road? I'm gonna be coming down on the, the bank right now. I think I'll take that little side road. Why am I doing that? There's a police station over there. That's really stupid, okay. Uh, yeah, they keep the police station close to the bank of course right I don't know I'm just walking around like a moron okay yeah I'm pretty much screwed if somebody pulls up behind me but whatever doing all this for you guys I could be uh put in jail and uh, kept from my family, but hey, Trump pants, man. Okay, it's a little spooky. I'm gonna get situated, I'll be right back. Okay, that was a dumb idea. Admittedly, that was a stupid idea. I'm not going, I'm not going straight through the center of town like that. This place is like a, I mean, I stand out like a sore thumb out here, like, like a white guy in Africa or something. I'm a white guy in Mexico, even. I am, uh, like the only one out here, so why do I want to walk right through downtown? That was, that was a genius idea. So I'm heading back up to the highway. 
where it's a little on the more of the outskirts. If I can just get to this, my waypoint, forgot my map. I don't know where I'm going anymore. I'm lost without a map. And a little stick figure, elk and dotted lines to go by to direct my my course. Um, isn't this fun? I mean, I'm freezing my arse off, but you're in your nice little warm house right now. Saw light, what is that? I see it on my camera, but I don't. I don't see it in real life, okay. <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, y'all. This is guy gonna freak me out. <laughs> I keep thinking it's like police lights. So it's like first impression is like, run! <clears throat> I know that's not the appropriate response to authority. <sighs> and no, I am not for defunding the police. Okay. But, uh, I almost ran into that cone. That would have made some noise. So I hear zombies are attracted to light and noise primarily. That's why I'm, I got my soft cushion shoes on, if you can tell. I stopped kicking rocks around. Probably help. Okay, so this is the street on this way. Towards the park. All I hear now and then is like some sound of equipment or machinery, you know? It's kind of spooky and those distant owls still hooing it up over there. This guy's got to change that bulb, man. Reminds me of like going to a haunted house as a kid. It's just not, it's about the flashing effect. You know, like the power's going out, but it's not quite out. I don't know why it's still sitting there flashing. It's like that cheesy zombie movie effect, you know? It's something I would probably put into my videos just for added suspense and drama. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm freezing my arse off and uh, my hands are almost not working any longer, but... <sighs> I gotta stop filming because this video is gonna be like three hours long and I know nobody's gonna wanna sit through me and like some street lights talking. <clears throat> the street lights aren't talking, I'm talking. And you're looking at the street lights, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> but nobody's gonna wanna watch that for like two, three hours, so. <sighs> empty houses, empty streets. Random guy walking down the street with a camera, yeah. This guy right here. This guy. I should have the... What am I doing, man? What am I doing? Oh, man. I'm supposed to have my shades on. But it's so dark. Yeah, I'll probably just run into something. I mean, that would be... That'd be pretty classy. Walking around. Pitch black ghost town with the uh, sun shades on, right? Well, guys, so here we go. Here's the authentic, real deal signs. You know, I'm not just blowing hot air and walking through some other random town. And I told you it's called Devil's Gulch, right? Like, Devil's Gulch, man. Glenhaven, Devil's Gulch. Like, why do you want to name? Why do you want to name a place that? I don't understand. I'm just, uh, just a little goody two-shoes, I guess. I don't want to worship the devil, but... Interesting. There's a sign here. Uh, private. Got their own little private roadblock right there. Sweet. I finally, find, finally found a sidewalk. And isn't this kind of eerie? You've got, like, Christmas lights already. Somebody's got a little Christmas tree lit up. And I mean, I'd, I'd, you know, oh shit, okay, hold on.
Firefighter good. Firefighter good. <sighs> Caught me in mid sentence. Uh, I would say, you know, I'm not a Scrooge and I'm, I'd be feeling the holiday spirit right now, but it's kind of hard to, I'm just saying. It's kind of hard to get into it. Why is my camera not focusing? Okay. Piece of junk. Did I say I need a better camera? I think so. I think I said that. So right now I'm doing what you should not do. And that is walking under a roundabout that's highly lit from all sides, all directions. Why am I doing that? Why am I doing this right now? The moment a vehicle can drive up and I'm screwed. But, you know, I've been in worst case scenarios, I guess. Just to explain myself and I'm sure they'll be perfectly understanding. So this is a... Uh, I should probably pay attention to roads, dang it. I can't, can't read signs tonight. This is uh, the main entrance across from Devil's Gulch. That's what that road was. And uh, that is a swamp, so I don't think I want to go that way. Why am I going this way? Stupid. Okay. Whatever. I swear I'm not out here looting. I am just documenting the facts. There's a little signature cross over Estes. They're wanting a car. So somebody's driving around. Yeah, so anybody that lives up here, you're kind of orientated to where I'm at right now. Man, I'm freezing my hands. Ooh, noisy car driving past. You know what? I'm looking at these spooky woods right now. I'm not even sure I want to walk up into those. It's kind of spooky. Hey, check this out. So Stanley, it's all lit up. Festive as usual. It's in time for the holiday. It's a favorite holiday. All Hallows Eve. All Hallows Eve. When the dead come out to play, don't you know? The original holiday. Meaning behind the original holiday. All, All Souls Day. The uh, church later adapted it. From the kind of more pagan uh, worship of the dead holiday. Anyway, what the frick am I doing right now? I got lights behind me. <laughs> okay, this is dumb. It's really dumb. They probably got like cameras, right? Like everywhere in this town. What am I thinking? I think I'm just gonna come sneaking through here. Moron. Again, I'm headed towards the police station. Okay. Like, like I just want, I just want to turn myself in at this point. I think. Wait. Here's downtown. I got it. Told you I was gonna get it. Here's the bank. I'm not going anywhere near that place because I know that's probably super security right there. I see lights on the road. Ah, oh, that's what I'm kind of curious about. Dang it, curiosity again. Getting killed. I'm kind of curious about uh, the road towards the other entrance of the park where we came from, from the YMCA, if they have that road blocked right now. Because that's like the hotbed of fire activity. So I climb up this road, up this hillside, into some private property. I feel like I shouldn't be. Oh, it's nice and, you know, I learned from playing like first person shooter games, especially those battle royales, how to have good cover. So I got this little fence line right here. I know sniper's gonna hit me from here. I am not getting shot in the head, I swear. It's not even a possibility at this point. I'm just being dramatic. Ah, oh, man, it's, it's kind of peaceful. So this is the mountain I was trying to get up on top of, but I failed miserably because I'm too scared. And those are really dark woods. 
but the uh, police station's right there, and I just heard a door shut. So, they're still active. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that little token, five point star over Estes, up on the hillside up there, still there. And the good news so far is, I see no red glow, so that's good. I don't see any evil gates of hell being opened up, if it were such a place. Demonic red glow coming over the hillside there, so that's... Yeah, that's something to be thankful for. A little upbeat about. I, I keep hearing motion down there, so I should probably be quiet before I get arrested, but... I use this fence line right here for, uh, you know... When nature calls, you answer back. I'm gonna turn it off for now. Be right. um, it was relieving, you could say. So I'm up on this hillside overlooking Estes Park. I am not sure. I'm literally ignorant of the fact if I am trespassing, but I know that doesn't hold up in a court of law always. But I thought I'd get a good view from up here. And I'm not standing out in the middle of the street like a moron. <sighs> One thing I gotta be careful of is there's a chain link fence right here. <sighs> it's all about sound, this one. It's almost like one of my podcasts. If you haven't watched it yet, you might wanna check them out. Pour some time, research hours. And that's why you only see like two of them up right now because they take so much time. And a lot easier to do this kind of stuff but I hope to in the future do more yeah I'm gonna hide right now this car drives by okay all right that was that was professional <clears throat> caught me off guard and freaked me out a little bit so there are still He's going to the cop shop. Yeah, he's the police. <laughs> did, I, did I just... Uh, did I just do that? Did I just hide from... Okay, I didn't, you didn't see that. I didn't say any of that either. Um, and I am not night watching it either, so... <sighs> so there's some uh, uh, noise coming from this direction. What is that? I've heard it before. One of those big monster trucks, like a... I think sounds massive, though. So I'm looking up towards the Stanley. That's what that blue glow, those blue lights right there. And that's where, what I heard is a lot of the firefighters are, are staying at the Stanley of all places. Kind of appropriate, I guess, in late October. Pretty, pretty nice digs, though, from the sounds of it. Yeah, the police are in and out of the cop shop down there. As long as they're over there and not over here, I'm good. But I mean, that's downtown. I've been here for I don't know how many minutes and it's basically ghost town. I mean, there is still authorities. Something big that way comes. There's still authorities driving around, walking around, but so I, you know, I don't think you have to worry too much. This is a pretty crime-free town. It always has been. It's really nice. I've never, ever since I lived up in the mountains, ever had to, like, lock my doors from my car. And, you know, I got relatives. My sister lives in Arizona, and they're like, what are you talking about? You know, they lock their doors everywhere they go because... And I'm like, who wants to live in a place like that, right? You gotta constantly lock up your doors. Ah, there's the Stanley, the lovely Stanley. Yes, if anybody doesn't know the Stanley, the uh, the film, The Shining, Stephen King was filmed there. The film was filmed there. It makes sense. And uh, yeah, it's got a lot of history. 
big landmark in this town. And right now it's holding all the firefighters, which are like flooding into this valley right now. It's like almost, I don't know, wild guess, 80, 90% of the population up here are fall down the hill. These firefighters, that's crazy. And down the valley below, it's like a refugee camp from the sounds of it. People are having problems finding places to stay because literally all the hotels are booked up. It comes into the car. I don't really like this intersection. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, that's another fire truck coming out of uh, Devil's Gulch area. There's a lot of personnel kicking butt out of there. And I'm wondering if it's just, I'm gonna catch a whiff of smoke down there. It's probably coming this way. So. Yeah, I know I get down here, I get trapped. Yep, he's coming this way. Okay. Hey, look at this, another fence line. Oh, I love this. Whoever built this little fence line here. It's a genius. So I knew this was what was gonna happen. I'm just gonna get like trapped downtown. And not be able to find my way back home <laughs> safely without the potential of getting stopped. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that, you know, they're not locking people up yet according to what I've, <laughs> but you never, you can never trust the sources, right? So, I don't know if anybody would be even allowed to get the word out if you're locked up for wandering around in a <sighs> evac area. I gotta get the frick out of here. I'm getting antsy. Oh shit, another car. It's a police tool, I know it. You know when they're hauling like that, it's probably a... <laughs> well, see the fire firefighter or police officer, because nobody else can be driving that fast. There you go, again, there's more vehicles coming out of Devil's Gulch, so I don't know if... It could be partly because there were, yeah, there were new uh, areas expanded for mandatory evacuation up here in Estes, and they're doing it in waves from what I gather. They are evacuating different portions, you know, like the furthest out, the closest to the fire, which was us, you know, like lucky us. Um, you can see me right now. I hope somebody can see me. Okay. Here we go. Probably blurring all over the place, but whatever. As long as you can hear my soothing voice right now. That's all that matters, right? Um, so we got an idea. We got a feel for it. <laughs> That's the truth. I'm freezing. My fingers are falling off. And I hear if you leave behind like a like a trail, like breadcrumbs, you know, a, a bread trail of fingers that also attracts zombies. So just like standing under these giant spotlights attracts zombies. That or the authorities, which probably think I look about like a a vandal right now. Which I kind of do, but at least my pants aren't black, right? You know, I got earthen tone pants on, so I don't look like a complete Antifa thug. I don't want to get mistook, mistaken from one of them, because yeah, if I was a cop and I found an Antifa on my hands, I don't know, I don't know how I would handle that situation. He might come home with a congenital deficiency. <laughs> might be missing one nut when he gets home. Might not be able to procreate, which, I don't know, might not be a bad thing. I don't know. I'm just being a wise, cracking, cracker, smart aleck. You know what's happening probably right now? Oh shit, a vehicle. Okay. They're all up over the Stanley. That's what I've noticed. I thought I saw a light. 
freaking me out. They're all up over the Stanley right now. So yeah, that's like, it's like ground zero for the uh, firefighters. Ground zero. And uh, whew, I made it out alive so far. Is this, how is that just me like acting like a drama queen, but it's just spooking me out a little bit. Kind of go hide in a ditch right now. You'll find me frozen tomorrow, hiding from imaginary fears, monsters. We cur curled up in a ball, a little fetal position. I don't know what happened to him, man. He just couldn't find his way back home, I guess. I'm trying not to heave too much because I know it's kind of annoying to listen to, but I'm going uphill now. And uh, it's freaking killing me. Okay. It's killing me. Another vehicle. It's a vehicle over the place. It's a big, big Bitsy. It's one of those water trucks, I think. Why am I going to this person's yard? I don't know. I don't know why. Okay, that one's coming. Oh, he's driving away. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I got this. We're almost there. We're like just a few blocks away. We're almost home. Promised land. With central heating and running water and internet with my latest night watch Nate at eight video probably playing right now and I'm not even sitting there conversing with you good folks. Probably like where the hell where the hell's Night Watch Nate? Not even commentating on his own videos. I didn't think this was gonna take so long. It's like, oh, I got this place again. Oh my god. I, I gotta do this. This is just too much. I'm gonna go knock on his door, tell him to fix his daggone light. I mean, it's just. Just contributing to the zombie apocalypse uh, atmosphere right now, like my crooked glasses are. Okay, there we go. Is that better? Should I just stand here for a few minutes? I think I'll get some more viewers. This is awesome. Check this out. Love this. Love this effect. He's got like this open horse trailer back here. Like what the hell's in there? This is some horror movie shit. It's all rusty. Like what? Okay. Oh, that was like the highlight, I think, of the whole trip. <laughs> Just that light back there. That's all it takes to keep me amused for a while. <laughs> I just love those, uh, I love the effect, right? Like the uh, the mood that something simple like that, right? Can create for all you fellow creators and YouTubers and cinematographers to sound all fancy pants. Uh, <clears throat> you 
could probably relate to what I'm saying right now. Uh, it's an art form and the lighting is huge because you're dealing with visuals. <clears throat> you know, most of our information, our brain's process is visual, especially men, they say. I don't know why, but I got an eye for the ladies, you know? <clears throat> what am I saying? Yeah, so the, uh, the effect of just something simple like that, like a flickering, eerie, it had like that yellowish tinge. <laughs> and it's probably the, something the way the, uh, you know, mo the movies that move you. <sighs> the films we've watched in the past have literally seared a emotion, a particular uh, atmosphere, combination of, of uh, memories, you know, in that case, kind of fear-based, spooky, and it has that effect, and that's what's, as an artist, that's what's fun. That's why I had so much fun with a failing light bulb back there. Probably just needs a good turn, you know, like, you know what it is? I wonder if it got cold. Like things do up here, temperature change and Colorado high elevation is notorious for like your tire pressure. That's what I always remember in the wintertime. It's like, yep, like right now in our car. You might have seen in a previous video that uh, yeah, my tire pressure gauge light is on again <laughs> because the uh, drop in temperatures, I guess, air. What is it? Contracts when it's cold. And so your, your, your tire pressure goes down. Why am I discussing this? Because the, uh, the bulb mystery that everybody is just <clears throat> gritting their teeth right now to try to, to, try to solve. Uh, isn't this why I'm out here? The mystery of the blinky bulb show? I don't know. Yeah, that was my theory. Like it got cold, it shrank a little bit, contracted like some materials do, plastics, metals even. Uh, metals contract, that's why you need a quality controlled lab if you're doing any kind of calibration work. Uh, you need a controlled environment because metal expands or contracts based on the temperature. So there you go, little kids. There's your little science lesson for the night. That's what makes it all worthwhile. This whole amazing journey that you've taken with me. Tooken with me. <sighs> okay. So I'm almost approaching our Compound. I have to go up and around because I'm going to divert those potential audience members who may have what's the word like a why am I out of focus all the time? Um, those particular audience members who you know might want to. Might be getting a little hungry and they see all the goods that we got on our little compound. We got, man, we got goods galore over there. I still got, still got some fine coffee, you know, like single origin, whole bean, just roasted a couple months ago, I mean, a couple weeks ago, coffee. Yeah, I wouldn't be drinking though. A couple months old coffee. I got some really good coffee. I got uh, bagels. I mean, everything. Bagel. That's the stuff of life, folks. Uh, cream cheese. Lots of green tomatoes for some reason. Oh, yeah, it's because we picked them off of our destroyed plants. Okay. <laughs> Did you see that? 
That is not how you flee from. I got a stick in my back. Oh. Look at this thing. Just pulled this out of my back. Pulled this. Okay, that was. I was out of, I was a little out of character there. That was a little, whew, these zombie stories are getting to me. This is how, this is how zombies get started. It's like a little thought seed that grows into a psychosis. And uh, eventually your, your brain gets so paralyzed with fear that you are a literal walking, quasi-talking zombie. That explained a lot. I don't even know what road I'm on right now, but I just fell down a ditch. <laughs> Shit, this is probably somebody's, this is somebody's driveway. I mean, what am I doing? I told everybody I wouldn't get shot. I promised them I'd return. This could complicate matters. Whew, I think my camera's still working. That's good. I don't know what happened back there. I got a little out of character and uh, the car came out of nowhere. And all of a sudden it felt like a chased gazelle or a deer in the headlight jumping out of the road for safety with memories of little Bambi their little brother that got crushed by a semi. Where the heck am I going? Oh, this is not the right way. I knew I'd take a wrong turn, son of a... Wait, here's the moon. Is that pretty? I mean, it takes my mind off, off of things like what lurks in the dark woods. I don't know if it helps you guys, but helps me right now. Whew, so yeah, this is fun. Um, we're gonna see what tomorrow brings. <sighs> see if they keep, uh, I have an assumption that they will just keep man, mandating evacuations across town because, uh, yeah, I think they wanna eventually just evacuate the whole the whole valley of Estes Park. That's what their their aim is, I think. I can't remember where I'm at. I get a little lost sometimes because I got hit in the head once too many few times. I mean a few too many times. Anyway, for the new viewers out there, who I know you're all flooding in right now looking at this black screen I am not I am Nightwatch Nate and uh, I'm wandering around the practically ghost town of Estes Park during the uh, troublesome fire or as I call it troublesome fire apocalypse that's what I'm calling this series. I think it's kind of catchy. I think so, I don't know. Probably nobody else does, but. And the reason I'm breathing so heavily is not because you're watching a cheap horror. That's H-O-R-R-O-R -R -R film. It's because uh, I'm wandering uphill here. It's a really steep hill. Look at this road. That's what I've been walking. And this is all uphill. <sighs> so, it's, it takes a lot of work. Um, high elevation, 7,400 feet, or something like that. And I haven't been mauled yet by any wildlife, that's good. I haven't been 
sniffed out by any zombie hordes. I haven't seen any zombies. I'm surprised. I saw a few that were questionable, but didn't really ring that zombie bell. If you got one of those in your brain, but it starts going off as soon as you see something like dragging their feet. Like one leg, right? Like if I was walking like this right now, and, and it's gotta be sideways. You can't see it, I know, but you can hear it. So, I gotta change feet or I'm gonna wear off all the traction on one shoe. Be walking crooked. So that's what a zombie looks like. You know what, I might actually like film it here. Since I got this nice little spotlight. I want to demonstrate, like for the audience right now, like this is what you look for. If you see somebody walking like this, this weirdo. For one thing, if you see him walking through the middle of a, a highway, he's probably got taking a few too many. Uh, I don't know what are the kids on these days, like spice or something. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, you don't want to take spice. I do not recommend spice kids, okay? I hear spice girls, eh. I don't think I'd recommend them either. Here, hold on, I'm gonna demonstrate. This is what it looks like. All right, if you ever see a zombie, trying to get my phone or my camera, whatever this thing is. Uh, standing up, there we go. Nice, doesn't that look welcoming? Yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Okay, hold on. Nice. Alright, let's do this. Okay, ready? If you see somebody walking down the street, Yep. I hope that turned out. That is what you want to run away from. I mean, or at least buy the guy another drink, you know. Sure sign of a, a zombie, and I just wore off traction on one of my shoes, but it's just another sacrifice for the uh, the cause because I want people out there to be prepared and to be informed and entertained a little bit you know <sighs> spooky out here I hear somebody knocking on something and it's not one of those friendly knocks So I'm looking at the, uh, back to like some semblance of normality here. I'm looking at the moon right now, that's cool. But I'm looking towards this direction of the troublesome, wait, east troublesome fire. And yes, I am seeing some red now. That's a little spooky. It's a little bit more, Even though it looks unreal, because it's 
the middle of the night. That is a little bit more of a immediate concern than zombie hordes at this point. You know, I mean, you gotta prioritize your your uh, paranoia. <laughs> but I did. I can't really see it on the. And if I could uh, take a picture of that. I'm gonna try to hold the camera real sturdy, take a picture and see if it shows up. Okay. Ooh, I just got a big whiff of smoke right there. Okay, so that was my zombie report. I thank everybody for tuning in. It's been a fun trip. I know I definitely got my adrenaline rush for the night. I don't know about you. Smoke the the uh, on a lighter note the uh, the wind has shifted this direction it's blowing right in my face down this valley and yeah I could smell the smoke pretty well now so I could have sworn I saw a glow over the mountainside there but probably can't see anything because so dark out but <laughs> thanks everybody for watching it's been a it's been a uh, it's been something I don't know what a learning experience I guess for me probably never do it again but appreciate everybody out there and uh, y'all have a good night Night Watch Nate, signing out.